peace and welcoming still going on art family today i'm going to be speaking about why i enjoy studying apple black and what apple black is it's a it's american shonen manga that helped influence me as a comic artist when i was starting out so if you guys don't know uh the creator of apple black is a dunze also known as white manga and he's a uh, indie comic artist from Nigeria. And what amazes me about this author is that Adunze, along his earlier journey, had an understanding of, you know, advanced poses and anatomy. And as he continued on, he, it just got better. And so, you know, you can see the improvement from, you know, volume one to two, etc. And, you know, he, he's also made other earlier works like Candle Jack. You can like see that's like the much earlier version so and so adunze's art style is semi-realism which is closer to realism and another reason why i enjoy studying his art is because the the, the artist adunze he uses multiple different camera angles and at the same time keeping track of uh anatomical proportions like he, keeping track of the uh while he's changing the camera angles the uh anatomical proportions are correct so as I uh, scroll through the first chapter here, you can see how the artist is using just diff multiple different uh, camera angles to convey the, the page. And so yeah, we'll just come here and you can just see how everything is being uh, incorporated. Now I feel that once you have, if you're an intermediate artist and you have an understanding of construction constructing the uh the, the human body and yeah constructing the human body knowing the proportions and like constructing the human body in its uh, basic shapes such as using cylinders and and whatnot you'll have a, a easier time to understand and you know decipher how people make the pose the way they make the pose you know and not only that you'll have uh you know anatomical references of knowing where things go so a quick example is right here and so a quick example right here for one of his characters uh there was this pose that i didn't understand because you know i yeah i didn't understand a pose so what i did was i used the the basic uh construction of the human body i used a cylinder shape just to understand the blueprint of how this pose was made and so i just drew over the character just to see how everything came about and then you can see how you know there was a little foreshortening coming coming into play the cylinders shrinking and you can see how like the the bottom legs the bottom half of the leg isn't really showing here but by doing this you can just once you have like a fundamentals of constructing the human body you can start to study how different poses are made just so you can have it embedded into your visual library and so another reason why i enjoy studying it is because the the, the artist uses multiple different uh, props as well like glasses and bats you know like like right here and you can also uh go online and, and find like several different images on different pop prop ugh, different props with different poses and so not only that he uses uh different props he also uses uh different uh facial features for example uh i know that there are some uh, there are some of some of his characters don't have uh, eyebrows like her and you know this caesar caesar and like how caesar's eyebrows is kind of uh it's a it's it's more closer towards the forehead as opposed to the near the eye if that makes sense for people that understand the facial proportions uh and uh and one of his characters has like a a fancy a fancy stroke on their eyebrows it's very subtle but they they have this fancy they have the, yeah they have this fancy stroke on this on their eyebrows so no, normally it will take like two eyebrows two strokes to make an eyebrow but you can just see how fancy the stroke and the stroke of the uh, eyebrow is is like it, it takes like uh, three strokes as opposed to the normal two and you can see how this eyebrows this end here is like going up you know so yeah this is a little it's very subtle and you know everybody's eyebrows are different as he's using different facial features he's keeping track of the the soft soft facial soft facial features 
and the the pixel features with a lot of muscular anatomy you know there are a lot of uh, tough strong facial features for example the way uh, the way a soft nose looks as opposed to a strong looking nose looks you know he uses multiple different uh, different things so I feel when you study realism you start to know to notice all these uh, subtle nuances the author or the artist makes and so that can you know translate well into semi-realism when you're studying realism and so you know there are some books i also recommend like uh dynamic drawing and youtubers for anatomy that i recommend like pro pro and uh alfonso dunn and so at the same time as we as we're studying realism and as we're studying uh several different artists we, we should also keep in mind to as, as we're learning we should also experiment on our own you know make different things change things up etc so i've also looked into you know the one piece style and i'll have examples of that up in the screen above here and you'll be able to see that the there there's a blend going on there's a blend of you know some inspirations from apple black and at the same time there's also a blends of you know various other different series like one piece here like the crying that you see here and you know the eyes you know and whatnot and so apple black was awesome the and the the ending of of volume two was really intense and you can start to see the storytelling aspects being put into play and so as you're seeing the storytelling aspects you see the uh the foreshortening that takes play in volume one which you can see translates well into what happened in the intense ending of volume two and so you know it's worth study studying for you know art wise and storytelling wise as well i'll have a link a link to uh adunze's channel below and yeah white manga also known as white manga but yeah and so thanks for tuning in if you enjoyed videos like this uh feel free to leave a like and subscribe you know support the support helps